if the playoffs were to start tonight, Perry and each, there are some compelling storylines for us to look at. So our crew put this together. If the NHL playoffs started today, on the left, you've got the Eastern Conference. On the right, you've got the Western Conference. How about Vancouver and Vegas in the first round? Kings fans are like, Edmonton again? Are you serious? <laughs> I know. That <laughs> that's a real? It's, can, yeah. Can't we play somebody that can't doesn't we, have superheroes? Like a coin toss? <laughs> <laughs> Something else? We'll play anybody. Yeah. Anyone. We'd like to play uh, UConn instead yeah. in basketball. <laughs> so, looking up there, what jumps off the screen at you first, EJ? Well, the, that Rangers-Tampa matchup could be interesting in the first round. Oh, yes. Because, like, you know, Tampa Bay, their power play is really good. They've got a world-class goalie. Um, you know, they are a little bit of a top-heavy group. I like the additions they made at the deadline. I think Dumba helps them a little bit on the blue line, and DeClaire gives them a little foot speed up front to push you back. So that would be a little bit of a harder matchup for the Rangers than we think they're going to have. Meanwhile, Carolina, number two, plays Philadelphia. I mean, I... I just, the Flyers give them all the credit in the world. I just don't think that they have what it takes to win a seven game series over a team like Carolina. No, and, and looking at that, I mean, even look at the Vegas Vancouver on the other side. I give the nod to Vancouver on this one right away. Of course, down at that bottom, can't help but notice that Central Division matchup down there, the Colorado Dallas. Seriously. I mean, are you kidding me? And then I looked across, I like the Florida Toronto set up right there is Toronto looking at another first round exit there the Florida Panthers when they met last year in the second round it did not go well at all no not for <laughs> Toronto no. not at all hey I'll point out one other thing there that Nashville Winnipeg matchup we've talked a lot about Winnip about Nashville tonight Nashville's playing really well let's say Nashville's for real mm -hmm. and they could they probably would probably feel more comfortable playing Winnipeg than they would either Colorado or Dallas yeah yeah make that let's argument. say they sure. take out Winnipeg and then they get they would avoid playing either one of those two teams mm -hmm. which is it creates a path there yep yes you know so I mean that's that's the thing I look for this time of year is is first of all how are you playing how healthy are you and then what your matchups are are they favorable matchups unfavorable and what kind of path could you find if other teams help you along, you know, yeah. and you don't have to play teams that are not good matchups for you. Yeah, and, so. and to go back with that Nashville thing, too, you just sit there and watch Colorado and Dallas beat up on each other yeah. for seven games. After a they're whole season be, of doing it. Right, beat up maybe yeah. a couple of OT games. Yeah. So you catch, you're hoping for that. You catch them a little bit flat-footed, maybe a little bit more tired than they typically yeah. would be. We've seen it happen.